No pain, no gain. But that's not the way I see it. I see it as this. Self-improvement through self-destruction. If you ever done pull-ups, if you've ever ran for a long time, and you look at your feet, you have calluses on your feet. You have calluses on your hand. You only gain that strength from putting in the work. In other words, in order to improve, you must destroy yourself. Hi, I'm Walker. Welcome to Walker Wisdom, the home and main channel of the Walker Wisdom Show. So, one of the things I'm mostly known for is working out how much work I put in, the ambition that I have in my mind. And many people ask where that comes from, or They'll sit there and they'll resonate with themselves about where to find inspiration and motivation from. Truth be told, if your goal is to gain from nothing, then I'm trying to tell you that that is impossible. You can't get something from nothing. In other words, if you want to gain, you have to go through the pain. No pain, no gain. But that's not the way I see it. I see it as this. Self-improvement through self-destruction. Just like when I'm bench pressing and I'm putting that weight on my chest, all of it, and I'm pushing off. And slowly but surely, my body turns into a sculpture. This only happens because I'm building, I'm callousing myself. So if, you, if you've ever used something such as grips, if you've ever done pull-ups, if you've ever ran for a long time, and you look at your feet, you have calluses on your feet. You have calluses on your hand. You only gain that strength from putting in the work. In other words, in order to improve, you must destroy yourself. Long time ago, this has always been my philosophy. If you want to build the best building you can ever build, you sometimes have to start from a blank slate. You have to get rid of what was once there to now be able to build what it will become. If I start off in my fitness journey, if I start off in my fitness journey as a 200 pound overweight guy, I mean fat, I mean obese, you have to lose that weight while maintaining control of how you lift weights, and how you do things that structure your body to look the way you want them to look. You have to put in that work. You have to put in that effort. But you will not get it if you do not. If you do not destroy yourself, you will not improve. 
My muscles only build because of the stress and the strain that I'm putting on them to tear so that they rebuild stronger and better. When it's destroyed and it reheals, yes, maybe it will never be like it once was, but certain parts of them will actually be stronger because of the reformation, the transformation that the body had to put into it to grow stronger. Your body works the same way. To get this, to get this, to get any of this, it all works the same way that you get this. If you want to learn something, you have to be willing to pay attention. You have to be willing to learn it. You have to have the patience to go through it. You have to have the strength to go through it. You have to go through that adversity. And once you've gone through the adversity, it's like a man sitting around a campfire telling a story. You now have something worth telling. You now have something worth showing. You now have something worth admiring and advising others to do so. You do not get where you are unless it is the work that you have put in. You are only at where you are at because of the work you put in. If way long back ago you started a different way and you did different things, you would be in a different circumstance. That's the truth. If you decided early on to destroy yourself with the outcome to better yourself, you would be better. Instead, you picked the wrong outcome. You destroyed yourself to destroy yourself. Sometimes, I'm sorry, but luck isn't always on your side. Because truth be told, luck is actually when you meet up with opportunity and you have the advantage to take advantage of it because you were ready. You were ready for that wait. You were ready for that interview. You were ready for that opportunity. You were ready for that mentor. You were ready for it. So when I stick out my hand, will you be ready? When I say, hey, join Project Conquest and indulge in the most epic part of your life because I will show you I will show you a direction to the land in your destination. I'm only here to better your life. Through many ways, many paths, I will tell you different things, but this will be one of them. If you want to improve, you must destroy yourself, but not in the worst way, only in the best.